Okay, go. Alright, here we go. Good morning, I'm Joe, Fleet Manager here at Soul Truck Transport. If I had to explain my job in the easiest possible way, it's I oversee shop operations and what's going on on the road and coordinating with drivers and dispatchers to get repairs done on the road. Let's head on into the shop and get the day started. shop usually opens around 7 a.m. The guys typically show up around 6.45. They grab their coffee, settle in around the computer, check out the project list. Every day is different, it's never the same. Um, we disperse it out, and I will be starting with unit 327 for some diagnostics. You can do 335, pass your mirror damage. 340, you can do a fuel filter replacement, housing. Uh, they should be upstairs or they're over in the container. Uh, after that, you can do 305. All right, good job, Ivan. <laughs> All right, we're gonna hook up the diagnostic connector to this Volvo and see what the engine light is on for. Go over to the computer here. We use all OEM software for all of our troubleshooting and diagnostics and programming and all that sorts, along with parts plug up. This truck has low fuel pressure faults and intake. Um, most commonly these fuel pressure faults are caused by a fuel filter plugging up. Uh, it's a common thing on the Volvo once I hit around 25-30,000 miles on the fuel filter. Easy fix, change out the fuel filter and down the road to go. We have an abundance of parts, the most common stuff that we use every day from belts, clamps, hoses, sensors, all the lights. That way we have everything in stock for seven days a week if we need it and to keep everybody rolling down the road. Um, we have Detroit, Freightliner, Volvo, and Cummins, and International, and Kenworth stuff, and all stuff for our trailers. Uh, that way we can limit the downtime for owner operators and our drivers. I just got a message from one of our drivers where he's having issues with his truck. Let's give him a call and see if we can help talk through getting it going again. It's currently in Maryland with a check engine light. Hey James, Joe. Oh, not much. All right, so I'm looking at the codes I see on the computer. Um, I see a exhaust gas pressure sensor. Look on the passenger side of the engine near turbo. There should be a sensor right above it. It's gonna be like, should be rectangular. Make sure that's plugged in all the way. All right, when you get back to the truck and you check it, give me a call back or send me a message. There's one of the great things we offer 24 seven support um, to keep our guys going down the road. That guy is simple as talking him in through doing something to be able to go down the road again. Let's finish up what I'm doing here. Let's do a walk around and see how everybody else is making out. Here, we have our head valve adjustment guy doing the valve adjustment on Cummins. Over here, we have Paul. He's doing all of our oil changes. He does on all of our trucks. He does all that stuff, all of our PM work. Right here, we have Ivan who's changing tires coming up due for maintenance on that, so he's gonna get that done. The guys are inside, currently working on removing the windshield to put a new one in. Down on this end, 
we have Rush showing Victor on how to change the fuel filter housing. The guys are over here. They're doing a PM on this here Reaper. And get this ready to go back down the road. As you can see, we try to fix as much as possible in the shop. As usual, there's gonna be something unexpected that's gonna come up on the road. The more we do on the maintenance side is the less issues hopefully you have on the road. Sometimes it's faster to go out ourselves to do the repairs rather than having a road service go out. Um, heck, sometimes we even fly out to fix it. We also have this emergency road service van that we've taken out all over. Um, that is set up with all of our tools that we would need. Wheel seals, air dryer parts, um, lots of stuff. Three o'clock here and it's a uh, changeover time for second shift to come in. Um, some jobs, they are bigger than others. So some, it's not something that's gonna be quick and easily to get done. We will uh, hand that over to the second shift crew to get done. Uh, if it's something quick, you can button up on the first shift. Stay late, you can button it up and you can get it outdoor. If you've made it this far, you must have found this video interesting. So definitely come back and watch more videos like this. So recently we've been creating tutorial videos for drivers to be able to save some time on the road without having to wait to get into a truck stop. Uh, you can find these videos over on our Siltruck YouTube channel. We are trying to record more to help make it easier for our drivers and other drivers out there. Be sure to check it out. And uh, if you have any ideas for a video, let us know. We'll do what we can to get it out there.